big vote set for tomorrow to decide if two new music venues will move forward in Milwaukee. The venues are planned to be built right next to Pfizer Forum, where the Bradley Center used to be. Cassidy Williams is here to explain why the plans have been controversial from the get-go. Yeah, these are renderings FBC Live has provided of what the venues could look like. A coalition of smaller venues in the city are still pushing for the Common Council to vote no. The gravel lot where the Bradley Center once stood could be the start of a new music scene in Milwaukee. But some worry that could mean the sun setting on independent music venues. Hey, uh, this is Kelsey from Cactus Club. The Cactus Club posted this TikTok over the weekend explaining why they don't support the project. FPC and Live Nation are not the solutions. Cactus Club and other independent music venues, including Turner Hall, started a coalition called Save MKE's Music Scene to oppose the venues. Around two dozen opposition letters have been submitted to the Common Council. Just imagine if you had all these beautiful historic buildings shuttered and the employees who would no longer be there, all because you wanted this new shiny bright thing. But there are also dozens of letters supporting the project, including from restaurants Good City Brewing and Camp Bar. The owner of Camp Bar writing, we feel that any additional draw of patrons and guests to the area is great for the city of Milwaukee. FPC Live held a press conference earlier this month to tout the hundreds of union jobs the construction would bring. These venues are going to elevate the entire music scene, and that's going to benefit, we feel, all the other venues in town as well. What tomorrow will bring is now up to the Common Council to decide. The venues fall in Milwaukee's District 4, which rep is represented by Bob Bauman. He told me today he plans to support the project, and he believes the council has the votes needed to move the project forward. Cassidy Williams, thank you.